Hey everyone, Troy with Annihilator Air Guns and Tuning. Here today with the Winchester. This is the Winchester 45 caliber, model 7045. We have enlarged the transfer port, replaced the hammer spring, replaced the valve stem with a hardened valve stem, and actually reduced the diameter of that stem down to 0.135 at the transfer port. We are filled to 3,500 PSI. We've also installed the Annihilator Dead Blow Valve System. We are going to be shooting a 135 grain Diablo 45 caliber pellets. Let's see if you guys can see these. We have the gun comes shipped with five, a five shot magazine. So we're going to be shooting five shots across the chronograph. We want to see what kind of power and shot string that we're producing with this rifle. So let's get shooting. So there you have five shots, which will be a full magazine. Again, we began a fill of 3,500 PSI. Ending fill pressure is about almost 3,000 PSI. So we're using about 100 PSI per shot. Still filled to just over 200 bar, uh, according to the gauge. Let's see if you guys can see that. After the five shots, uh, actually we're just under 200 bar. After five shots, <clears throat> but a very consistent, uh, very consistent uh, extreme spread. And we're going to be doing some accuracy testing with this rifle. The gun is supposed to be a 195, 196 foot pound out of the box gun. Uh, this gun came in mid 170s, maybe close to 180 foot pounds. We're able to add just over 20 foot pounds to the uh, to the tune on this gun. Now we were shooting some 196 grain hollow point slugs earlier in the day, and we were able to peak out at about 217, 218 foot pounds. Uh, we did have a valve stem break. That's one of the reasons why we uh, added the new valve stem to the rifle. Uh, it has the standard O-ring cut into the valve stem, uh, which gives it a weak point. So what we actually did was increase the diameter of the valve stem using S7 drill rod, opened up the valve, added an O-ring to the actual valve body itself to seal the uh, valve stem, and then decrease the diameter at the transfer port down to 0.135 inches. Um, and that gives us the airflow that we need to be able to produce this power. But uh, we will be doing some more testing, hopefully some accuracy testing, and see what else this gun is capable of doing. But uh, definitely a rifle that is capable of, you know, coyote, deer, um, you know, anything in that range. Uh, I would guess inside of a hundred yards. I mean it is uh, You know quite a bit of power coming out of a uh, pretty light small package rifle So very excited and hopefully you guys stay tuned for more. Please like share and subscribe. We'll be adding more content uh, You know coming up soon. We have some 30 calibers 35 calibers um, 
you know, crawl rifles that we're getting ready to start testing. And also we have some big bore, uh, custom big bore rifles uh, made from scratch. So hopefully we can get those up in the next uh, next few weeks, months, and uh, let you guys show you, we'll show you guys what we're doing here at Annihilator Air Guns and Tuning. So stay tuned for more. Please like, share, and subscribe again. We appreciate uh, you guys watching. Take care.